Hey everyone, welcome to your Virgo full moon reading. And the Virgo full moon is going to be at its fullest on March 18th of 2022 at 1 17 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, which is the time zone I'm in. So you can adjust it for wherever you're at. But you, of course, will be feeling it a few days, a few after. If you're water signs and have a lot of water in your chart, you might feel like two years before, two years after. I just, but it feels like that sometimes. <laughs> so the full moon energy of the Virgo is bringing in very much the goddess of the harvest coming in. And I love these beautiful cards from these. Yasmin Boland, and here's the beautiful Virgo full moon. And it says on here, take inspired action. So with this reading, we're going to be looking at what inspired action does the creator and spirit want you to know about? In what area of your life are we looking at inspiring some action during this or around this Virgo full moon anyway? Also, there is this energy with Virgo of balancing between like dreaming big and being, you know, practical. There's this balance between dreaming and being heavenly minded and being very earth, you know, it's an earth element, so very grounded as well. So the divine masculine with its, you know, spiritual power and the divine feminine with very earthy goddess comforting as well. So there's this balancing that comes in. So I'll ask about balance as well for this reading. In this book that comes with these cards, she has this beautiful affirmation for the full moon in Virgo that says, I forgive myself for everything. I'm doing my best. And I love that energy for this because yeah, as you are inspiring yourself for something or you're balancing things out, there's no super, you know, user manual. I don't know if we would read it if we had it anyway, but you are doing the best moment by moment. You're always giving the best for that moment. So I love that. But we're going to jump in for a reading for each of the zodiac signs, and I'm going to jump in for your sign right now. All right, my Libras, this is your Virgo full moon reading, and we're going to start off here by pulling a card from the Queen of the Moon Oracle. And this is going to represent what the Creator wants you to know about what area of your life could have some inspired action around it. So we will, one more time here, there we go. All right, so for our Libras, what area of their life would you like to let them know about inspired action? Okay. Ooh, okay, two. I'm excited to see what this is here. So you have new moon beginnings. And then also fear. So I love this. So in fact, they only want me to read around these new beginnings here, at least at the moment. And I love this because this is about these new beginnings that are able to come your way, but the fear of the new beginnings is where the inspired action can be around. So they really want to not focus on the fear, but focus on the amazing part of the new beginnings that are coming your way. And you have two, which this year is all about the two of you, 2022, right? So this says you are offered a fresh start. Your journey is beginning. Take the first steps towards something new. It's time to place emphasis on your health and your well-being. And a little affirmation for this card is, I accept and rejoice in renewal and beginning. So rather than focusing on the fears, focus on the gratitude and the rejoicing for new beginnings coming your way. We'll talk more about that, I'm sure. It says there is something incredibly poetic and even romantic about that tiny sliver end of silver, so tiny sliver of silver that is the new moon. After the waning cycle and depth of the dark moon, here is appearing in the sky incredibly a crescent of the finest light, almost a scratch upon the blackboard of the universe. Here is the evidence that even after the darkest night, light returns again. 
The crescent of the moon is an ancient symbol that stretches back to ancient prehistory. There are cave drawings featuring crescent moons, sculptures of goddesses with crescent moon diadems, and the goddess Aphrodite, Hecate, H-E-K-A-T-E, I think I just murdered that, Diana, Artemis, Inanna, and many Central Asian female deities were often depicted with the new moon symbology. Go back even further into Neolithic cave paintings where moon and sun symbology features with no phase more commonly being depicted than the new moon. When the new moon appears in the lunar cycle, we are gifted with a new beginning and a fresh start. So I love that we're gifted. What we have identified as useless or unneeded anymore has been released in the void of the dark moon. And here waiting is a new chance. Here we get to renew our lives and feel free enough to risk trying again. Whether we're asking for a fresh start in relationships or a new love, or are heralding the actioning of intentions such as better health, a new business, or the new start of a new project. Riding the new moon energy will assist us. Many creative people start new works on a new moon, and I personally, as an author, the author of these, this book and cards, they like to begin all their new works on this phase, even if beginning means simply typing up a cover page or an outline. The most powerful of new moons for new starts traditionally are within the season of spring. And so for you in the northern hemisphere, of course, these readings are coming out. This Virgo full moon is March 18th and the spring equinox in the northern hemisphere starts on March 20th. So southern hemispheres, I know you're going into the fall equinox, but um, us your brothers and sisters of the northern hemisphere share that new moon spring energy with you so you can jump on that with us too <laughs> and the companion stone for this is celestine so i love this so this is about embracing where you can have this inspired action is around looking at your new beginnings these new changes that are coming into your life as gifts rather than fearing the change not fearing like you're caged but that you're able to fly and move beyond that not feel restricted and trapped you know like in the in this one here where they're tra you feel trapped on the inside, like you feel like caged. I'm not sure if I showed you this card up close. Happens when you get older, things just, you know, fly by. So there's that picture there, a new portal that you're entering through. So I love it. We're also going to pull cards here, or a card from the Syrian Starseed Tarot and just see what they want you to know also about the subject of balance, which Libras, you of course are the scales, you are, the masters of the adventure of balance. So this is nothing new for you and afraid to be afraid of, right? Nothing to fear. <laughs> so let's take a look here. All right. So for our Libras, what do you want them to know about balance, please? Okay, they do want, oh yeah. yeah. So I said cards and they knew there was two coming. So we will do this here. And they're going to do this kind of interesting. They want this to be in the bottom, and then these two are going to be in the top. So you've got the Ten of Orbs, which this is be the Ten of Swords. And I love this because, and actually I'm going to reverse these. Because <laughs> this is what you're focusing on. This is what you're leaving behind. And the Ten of Orbs is, it, usually it's like Ten of Swords that has all those, uh, those would be swords that are stuck in someone's back. And all those swords represent the small T truths, the things that we fear that won't come to pass, the things that we fear we will fail at, you know, all those expectations, the supposed to be's, the shoulds, the need to's, the have to's, the musts, because those are all rooted in our human experience, all those popular opinions we took on as our truths, but they're small t truths. We have capital T truths of the higher world that are 
you know, don't need defending, that they're based in unconditional love, and so they're amazing and don't need, you know, to have fear around them. So I love this, that this cage is made up of all these swords, but it's what you're ready to leave behind because you do have the 10 here, which is endings and new beginnings. So I love that. Also, the fear card was a card 11, which when you had one plus one equals two. So there is this duality that's coming here. And they do want me, and they just had that pop into me. So the they had me start this new free video series at the beginning of this year called You Times Two, which is all about getting to know the two sides of you that are living this human experience. This human side that is rooted in all these expectations and the fight or flight and fear. And then the that's the character that you're playing but then you have the actor behind the character which is the real you the powerful supernatural eternal spirit being made of unconditional love so i'll have that uh, video series playlist linked at the end of the video here if you want to check that out it's called you times two <laughs> yeah and then you have the shadow so the shadow here, of course, would be like the devil card in the standard tarot, but this represents the shadowy side of you. So I do feel like all of this here has to do with one another. And, but this freedom that comes where you feel like you're moving through this new gate is this awareness that comes with that U times two series. One of the things that is so evident is when we move into spirituality so much we're told you must destroy your ego you must destroy your shadow must defeat the devil you know and but that's a piece of us our shadow is like a little piece on the end of our finger of our huge spiritual self it is an extension of us it is our companion it is our little tour guide in this amusement park of fear rides that we came down here to experience. But being the tour guide, it also knows everything that's going on behind the scenes and, you know, that's uh, behind the curtain, um, you know, below the surface. You know, it's like someone that works at Disney World that's a tour guide. They understand how everything really, they have all this inside information and that's what our shadow has for us. It can bring us such beautiful truth and I always talk about Dr. Evil from the, uh, you know, c comedy movie series of Austin Powers, where our shadow is like that because, you know, Dr. Evil in that series, if, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. If not, let me just briefly explain it. They, you know, Dr. Evil is like the villain and Austin Powers is the international spy, the international man of mystery. And he would always end up getting caught trying to defeat Dr. Evil's villainous plot to take over the world. Um, but he would always escape and then foil the plot of, you know, Dr. Evil. In fact, even in some situations, they were, they would, his uh, advisors would tell him, quit telling him that, you know, he's going to escape and foil it. But that's what our shadow does. It knows what is making us feel trapped and caged here. And or in this caught in this web and it tells us what it is it's like oh you know this is the thing like this fear of the you know of new beginnings and stuff that's what's holding you back wink wink they're not telling you to make you feel small and make you feel stupid and you know judge you and stuff they're telling you to aid you so that you can look at it and then foil the plot and change and transform it really so i love that and then we're also going to pull cards here from the tarot of dreams and this is just going to be what else they want you to know about this inspired action and this balancing that's coming in here yeah so 10 endings and new beginnings if i didn't re-emphasize that they are re-emphasizing it now <laughs> And one more time. All right. So for our Libras, what else would you like them to know about this Virgo full moon? Okay. All of those? No? No, they said just that one. Okay. And those two. <laughs> okay. So they want to do this over here, these two up here, and these two down here. Okay. So these two are going to be about this 
action, this inspired action. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So you do have the devil card, which is the shadow card. So they're re-emphasizing that. Yeah, and then the lovers, which is which is great because this is all about emotional choices. This is about making an emotional decision. And so with this beautiful, <laughs> these two cards together really, really represent this. They're bringing to your face the the the. Um, awareness of the fear of making the new choices and I'm sorry I was getting distracted because in the standard tarot you will have like you'd have almost the exact same card but the the lovers are the ones that are trapped down below and instead and it's so funny because we're talking about the cage and there's the cage without the the door on it which it's very very telling that in the devil card usually either they'll have like a chain around their neck which is very loose where they can just take it off and walk away or the grip that they have of the chain in the devil's hands is like this where it can just slide right off it's not like a tight grip or like in these cases where there's like a cage without a door on it but they usually have the same there's like the the lovers up here in the devil card usually side by side with a chain around their neck and then here's the lovers being free and so there is this emotional choice this awareness and this where the inspired action coming from is like exactly doing this leaving the cage leaving the fear embracing this passion that you have because the other thing that comes with the lovers card is before the lovers card the two cards are the emperor and the hierophant which are both like people in authority and they both have two different sides to them but the kind of the shadowy side of them is all about the rules you know like a, a loving emperor becomes a dictator and a tyrant when it cares about its own self and it feels unsafe and it's trying to make and gain control and take control from others same thing with the hierophant it can be a loving spiritual leader but when they go into fear mode fight or flight mode then when they're feeling unsafe and they feel out of control they want to do everything they can to feel safe and do what they can to gain more control and so that loving spiritual leader Leader, turns into a cult leader instead but where the lovers comes in think of like you as a younger child where you know you had all those roles growing up and you appreciated the praise didn't really like the punishment so you did everything you could to obey the rules all these expectations try to make all these things you know come true or to you know obey the rules <laughs> stay in the good graces of those in authority but there comes a time in our usually our teenage years when our passion ignites we have this crush on someone or we really want to see a movie or really have an album or see a band play or something in our life where our fear of breaking the rules gets outweighed by the passion to live that whether it's breaking a curfew or sneaking off to go do what you want anyway because the risk is worth it because you have the passion for it and that's kind of the story that's going on here is like you are having this new opportunity and this new beginning to express the passion within you that is really there your dream not the dream that was given to you by someone else where like you wake up in the morning and you're like oh great it's time to go try to live my dream again when you have this passion of this lover's card when you wake up in the morning you wake up early and you're excited you can't wait to go do it so you'll know the difference in that and this is that new beginning that is coming in there for you and then you have these two cards which you have the queen of cups which is the queen of emotions um you know she's the cup suit which is water and emotions but all the queens actually also have water energy so she's double water which allows you to connect to the higher realms allows you to connect into your emotions deeply so i love that with these passions here that you are choosing in fact we're gonna kind of put her above the shadow card kind of like this this is your passion expressing itself connecting to your deep emotions connecting to this beautiful chalice that she carries here because all of the 
uh, royalty in the cup suit, all the pages and knights and the queens and the kings, they all have that ace of cups. She's able to hand that to you and give you that. And what's that is full of is the unconditional love of the creator of all things, the living waters, that which will make you feel whole and complete really represents your true passion, your true love, that unconditional love of the other side. So I love how this is kind of mirroring. And then you have the five of wands and wands are your drive, your ambition, your inspiration, your passion. And the five is about transformation and seeing your passion differently. So as I was talking about before, that you are going through this new awareness about what your true passion is and this transformation changes here with this 10 of you know uh, orbs or the 10 of swords it's such a heavy exhausting feeling but you are so ready to let go of it and go on this new adventure into this new journey of really understanding what your passions are because this is has this little story of that spirit gave me to help me understand it where i see this little kung fu movie happening and all these people it, it starts with these people battling these five individuals finally one is left standing barely and the other four are laying down exhausted exhausted right but then they all laugh and they put away their ones and they all go arm in arm down the alley to the monastery meal hall and then suddenly transforms from there's this aggressiveness and it's war and battle to that these were Buddhist monks that were helping each other train to improve their skills out of love, not out of, you know, hate and fear. You know, so again, there's this recurring message in here for you. And then you've got the Four of Swords. So swords are your thoughts, your beliefs, you know, like we talked about with these orbs. This is peace of mind. And this is the cutting away here, that ace of swords that you're sleeping on is the powerful uh, sword that helps you with this 10 of orbs here because it, one, it helps you connect to the capital T truths. And um, here's your sign here. <laughs> That's the Libra sign, the balancing. So this helps you achieve that peace of mind because these three of swords which are all the expectations it allows you to cut away those thoughts and those beliefs that no longer serve you and allow you to connect more to those higher truths of really who you are and what you want right yep and then your final card is the three of wands and this is so perfect for this new beginning because the ace of wands would be like a new passion. The two of wands would be you plotting and planning what you want to do with that energy. And the three of wands is that you put some of that into action, but now you have come to this place in your life where you have reached the shore and you are at the point where you're going to board a ship and go in a direction but you're changing your direction because of new information that you've had new awareness that you're having which is this passion your true passion you're understanding this about yourself and that one you are making decisions from your human side before your fearful side the dream that was handed to you but now that you're going to go through and possibly look at the U times two, understanding the two of you that are living this human experience, as you connect to your higher self, you have a deeper understanding of what it is that you want to do with your life, how you uniquely want to share your unconditional love with the world in your own unique, special way, not the one full of all these expectations that make you feel exhausted instead. So I love it. This is going to be a great awareness bringing uh, a full moon for you. It's going to allow you to step outside of your cage, away from these fears, as you do that inspired action to focus on the gratitude for these new beginnings that are coming and this balancing of the understanding of the two of you that are living this experience that the shadow and the fears that come up is part of your journey, but there's another choice. There's a higher choice that you can make nothing bad about you know experiencing all the fear rides that we came here to experience but just knowing there's another choice sometimes brings us beautiful peace of mind right <laughs>
<laughs> All right, well, I'm going to leave the reading there. I want to let you know if you want even more additional messages of love from above, I do offer uh, free monthly zodiac readings for each of the signs, also weekly energy updates for each of the elements like fire signs, water signs, etc. Full moon and new moon readings, let you times two series, and a variety of other videos. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those and be notified immediately when they become available, if you give this video a little thumbs up and click the like button, also click the subscribe button that gives you access to this notification bell. And when you go in there, if you select all, then you'll be notified of any new videos that come out for this channel. Also doing those things helps spread the love because when you like a video, share a video, comment on a video, subscribe to a channel, it makes the YouTube algorithm so happy it wants to share the videos of that channel with other people as well. So if you feel inspired to do any of that, of course, I am very grateful for that. Also, these are general readings. If you want even more specific readings for your specific life, I offer personal readings and all that information is in the description box below. All right, Libras, Masters of Balance, I am excited for what this is going to be bringing you and please know that as you're going throughout each and every second of every life that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing full moon. I'm sure I'll be talking to you very soon, but until then, you hang in there and you take care.